How to start trading. Get the question all the time, and I'm gonna talk about it here, but just understand that it all starts up here. If you're gonna have any success as a trader, then getting started as a trader has absolutely nothing to do with, I'm getting started, what broker do I use? That, choosing an online broker is important, yeah, but when you're just getting started, or when you wanna get started, I assure you, the broker is one of the last things that you should be concerned with. The first thing that you need to be concerned with and you need to realize is all mental. It's all getting yourself in the right frame of mind for the journey that awaits ahead of you. And this is definitely not gonna be popular, what I have to say. Uh, probably stupid from a business perspective given that I do sell courses and uh, you know I'm not gonna sit here and paint some you know, just glamour picture about, hey, all you do is get started and then within like a month or a couple weeks, it, it's gonna be just. So then that, that's just not how it works though. But what do I mean by mental? Well, let's just break things down into two parts. And those parts, short term, so short, short term, and then we'll do verse, what, well, what color would be good for blue? Blue is a good color. Long term. And I'll just say it right here. There's going to be short term pain involved. And pain is coming in many different ways. Pain in the sense of maybe spending money that you have right now on things you don't want to spend it on. Spending your time in ways that you don't want to spend your time on. In other words, making some sacrifices. And those two things are gonna be that short-term pain. And to illustrate this, I'm just gonna you know, tell you my story, how I got started trading and what happened. And also maybe, hopefully, kind of explain why I guess I'm just a mean person when it comes to people. Oh, I don't have that much and I wanna get started. Or, oh, you know, woe is me, woe is me. I, 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 don't, I, I just I wanna get started, but this, that, the other. So when I got started, I was in college, and you know what, hey, I wanted to get started, I had some money. And I quickly realized, okay, this is something is not right here. I need more money because you know using a few hundred dollars here or there is just not gonna work, and it was just a nasty situation. And that's the first step in trading is you need to have money. You need capital to trade with. So yeah. Money right here is a big thing. And if you don't have money, that's fine. But this is where some of that pain comes in. The pain in the form of, dare I say, going and getting another job, maybe just getting a job in the first place, maybe picking up a part-time job. But you need to have some sort of way that's gonna give you money. Now you're probably, if you're sitting here saying, what kind of crap is this? I'm not getting in the stock market to hear that I need to go get more jobs or to pick up another job, I'm getting into the stock market because I wanna quit my job. Short term pain, short term pain, remember that. Short term. So for me, I actually started creating money for myself. I had a book business and then just, you know what? I want more money. So I went and got a job at one of the university libraries and I just picked up some more work. Now, I'm not trying to say I'm the greatest person ever, but you know what? It was not pleasant. It was just not the ideal situations. And this is why I have zero pity for people that are, oh, you know, I, woe was me, this, woe was me, and then that you let them talk more, and then that you just start hearing more about, oh, you know, it sounds like they got a pretty nice social life, or they got, here was my schedule in college when I was like, hey, you know what, I wanna do trading. And okay, you know, from that point forward, now I'm not saying I was successful, but this is what my life consisted of. Study, go to class, do assignments, work on my business, go to the part-time job, sleep. Over and over and over again. But Friday, Friday, Friday night, get home from class, Study, 
Work on the business. Work on the business. Work on the business. I did not go out on Friday nights. Oh, what a loser. Yeah. Saturday nights. Work on the business. Work on the business. Work on the business. There was no going out. Now, I'm not going to say that I did that all Saturday because, hey, I mean, especially when I went to Ohio State in the fall, yes, I watched some college football um, and things like that. But there is a whole lot of sacrifice. So you would think, oh, wow, Clay, you went to a, you know, Ohio State, you know, you, there, you probably went to some epic parties. No, I barely went to any parties at all because I was always working on the business. I was, I just had other things I needed to do. And within the grand scheme of things, yeah, it was some short-term pain. And you know, this was a, a couple years of my life right there, just having to get money and having to create a situation for myself where I could succeed. Because it took a lot of time, it took a lot of effort to just keep myself in the game. But when I say a lot, it was only a lot in this little section. So what is this black bar? Maybe you're wondering, what is that supposed to represent? This is time. And this is gonna vary for everybody, but for most people, assuming you're getting started relatively early, you know, maybe 18, 19, early 20s, uh, mid 20s, 30s, I mean, this time frame here is easily 30 years. Easily 30 years. Now, if you're getting started a little bit later, you know, that's fine too. Later is better than never. But still, even if this is just 20 years of time, what is just a few years of going through some pretty crappy times? Now, do I, am I saying that you can never go out to, you know, and have fun with your friends ever again? I'm not saying that. But don't come at me and say, oh, Clay, I want to get into trading, but I only have this amount of money. And then you talk more and more. And you know, so, and last night I was telling my buddies about this out at the bar. Um, and then you know, we, we came back home uh, and we had came back to my place because I have HBO. And then we all watched Game of Thrones together. And you know, it was, um, and we ordered a bunch of food. And you know, so, but I, I just, I, I, and I was telling them about all this that you know, I want to do this as a trader, but I don't have any money. I don't want to hear that. Cut some things out, short term pain. In those situations, maybe you don't need to go get another job, but cut some things out of your budget. Do you need Game of Thrones or do you need HBO? Do you need to be ordering in food? Do you need to go out and be you know, buying drinks at a bar that are super overpriced? Probably not. Stay at home, go pick up something from the store and don't be paying that big markup just to go to some bar or something like that. And that's just one minor example. But now you're thinking, wait a second, cut things out of your budget. A budget, that's like stupid. Like budgets are for old people, aren't they? Like my grandma, my grandma uses a budget. I don't want to spend the time. I don't have to figure out how to put together a budget. Some short-term pain. Yeah, it can be annoying when you're first getting started, but just set it up. A budget is one of those things where once you have it, it you're set for life because when you can account for where every dollar in your life is going, then guess what? You can be like, oh yeah, that's kind of a waste of money. Scratch that out. Penny saved is a penny earned. Now all of a sudden you have more money for yourself. Again, all this stuff is super annoying. New jobs, cutting things out of your budget, maybe ha even having to put together a budget in the first place. But you gotta get all these ducks in a row before you're ever gonna have any chance at success of trading. And I realize that most people, oh yeah, first step you do is set up this broker and then you fund it with money and then, you know, the first thing you need to do is realize the mindset all right, I probably, I'm gonna to need to either spend some money for trading or in many cases, dare I say, invest in some education. And I fully realize that, why would, I, why would I use any of this money? I mean, I've missed the past three seasons of the Game of Thrones. I haven't gone out with my friends for the past three weeks. You think I'm really gonna spend that money that I now have because I'm saving it and making sacrifices to invest in education when I can go learn this stuff for free on the internet, on YouTube, on a blog, on social media? You know, I'm not gonna sit here and argue that. I've done other videos on that. I'm just gonna let the statistics speak for themselves and let uh, hopefully common sense come into play here. But if trading and learning how to trade properly was as easy as just using the internet for free information, then the fail rate of traders would not be 90%. I mean, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Nine out of 10 traders fail. If learning how to trade was as easy as just 
using that free information, I think we can all agree that that stat would be a little different. Maybe not 100% of people are gonna you know, succeed, but at least I would say 50%, but it's not even close to 50. 90% of traders fail. So for you, it's all about putting in that short-term pain and realizing that, yeah, life may not be so pleasant, but put in the pain and then when you're looking at the long-term, it's just whatever you wanna call it, freedom. Am I saying that you have to quit your job and do this full time? No, but maybe just additional money coming into your budget every month because you can sit here and generate, you know, whatever amount would suit your needs just to have, I mean, an extra, let's say you can do an extra, generate an extra $500 into your budget. An extra $500 on top of the money that you already make with a, a regular job that maybe you enjoy, I mean, that's great. But you're never gonna get here by the short term period just jumping right in and going full bore. Long term, it's not gonna work out because you're gonna just rush yourself, you're gonna be doing things you shouldn't be doing, odds are you're probably just gonna turn out to be a gambler because you have no true strategies to begin with because you've never invested into learning how. Maybe you don't have enough money, so it's kind of a just, let's just roll the dice and see whatever it lands on. But you better be prepared for short-term pain. And not, I, take about, I haven't even talked about losing money. I'm just talking about in order to get yourself to where you need to be to have the proper education, to have the proper trading capital, there are, odds are there are gonna be some things in your life that need to change. Now, maybe you're getting started later in life. The good news here is you've already probably kind of put in a lot of long-term pain because maybe you've been working at a job for the past 20 years that you hate. But assuming you've actually been saving and putting money aside, well, hey, you're not gonna have the money problem in the sense of, oh crap, I gotta save up a bunch of money to trade. You're just gonna need a little bit of that money to go invest in some education. And then you're gonna, you know, you can start trading from that point. But the money issue is not gonna be a problem for you. But then again, you might not have 30 years, but still. 10, 20, 15 years, that's still a lot, lot, a lot of time. So either way you look at it, you're either gonna put in some short-term pain here for a long-term perspective because you need money, or maybe you already have money, but you just don't quite have as much time in a, a journey, but they both equal each other out. So how do you start trading? Better be ready up here. You know what, I'm gonna have to start to make some sacrifices. I'm gonna have to start to do some things that I don't really wanna do that maybe uh, cost me in the sense of some time and some sacrifice, but I mean, come on, take a little short-term pain, it's well worth it in the long run.